how can you kind of help hold that mold together a little bit, so to speak? Well, that, that is the way we do things around here. Yeah. That, that's the rule rather than the exception that you pay your dues and you learn what we're all about and about Spartan toughness. And, and then when your time comes, you, you roll. It's great to have guys that have been in the program for a while that can remind the young guys that this doesn't come easy mm -hmm. and how hard we have to work, how hard we have to scratch and claw to be where we've been the past few years. So on Evan, uh, Damon Knox, those types of guys, and Ed Davis, who've been here for a long time, mm -hmm. reminding the young guys that you don't just put on the green and white and win 10 games, you have to fight. Mike, how would you, how would you um, encapsulate the defense right now if you were just looking at the line, the linebackers, DBs, as far as where they're at? towards this conclusion of spring drills? Individually or are you talking about as a well, whole? It groups, if you could just. OK. You know. um, the DBs, I feel like the experience, uh, we feel a lot more settled right now than we would have said a year ago at this time. You know, The safety position, we felt pretty strong about last year, but we're still trying to figure out corners and people be bopping around. Right now, we feel like there's a two deep that's pretty solid, and, and uh, we feel strong right there. Linebackers, we lost Darian Harris. Darian Harris, obviously, but there's a lot of experience coming back at linebacker. So we feel like we'll only be better there. And then, of course, the D-line is where you're knowing there's going to be some inexperience. So watching guys like Raekwon Williams, which is exciting, um, watching guys like Evan Jones, whose time is finally here, uh, Coop, when he gets to be the man, because that's a talented kid. That's what's really the most exciting, watching those guys get that experience and make plays. So. Uh, they're growing. They're doing a good job. Malik McDowell, how are you going to use Malik? Where are we going to see him line up? We're going to move him around a little bit. I mean, quite honestly, in, in base defense, he's still going to play some inside, uh, a little bit outside. In, in passing situations, we're going to move him around and try to attack protections with a guy like that. Have you